overnight police in Nashville releasing this chilling surveillance video showing the terrifying moments the shooter blasted their way into the small private Presbyterian school, shooting right through locked glass doors. The video also shows the armed person entering a church office and later stalking the halls with an AR-style weapon drawn, one of three firearms investigators say the shooter had. We believe two of those may have been obtained legally locally here. Police calling the attack on the Covenant School targeted, adding the shooter left behind detailed plans of the deadly assault. We have a manifesto. We have a map drawn out of how this was all going to take place. Police identifying the shooter as 28-year-old Audrey Hale, who they say is transgender and was once a student at the school. There's some belief that there was some resentment for having to go to that school. Authorities say within 14 minutes, they were able to confront and kill the shooter who fired at officers from a second floor window, but not before Hale fatally shot three children and three adults. There's multiple victims down inside the school. Shooter is down now as well. Authorities later searching Hale's home, finding two shotguns and other evidence as they investigate potential motives. Among the victims, the school's headmaster, Dr. Katherine Kuntz, 61-year-old substitute teacher, Cynthia Peak, and 61-year-old custodian, Mike Hill. The children, all just nine years old, identified as Evelyn Dikas, William Kenny, and Hallie Scruggs, the daughter of the lead pastor of Covenant Church. Avery Myrick's mother was teaching in her classroom when the shooter opened fire. She said she was hiding in the closet and that there was shooting all over and just that she like loved us. Many parents unsure their children would come home. There were so many police cars and then the ambulances started coming away from the school. President Biden ordering flags to fly at half staff nationwide and urging Congress to pass a new assault weapons ban. We have to do more to stop gun violence. It's ripping our communities apart. While a group of new parents are now echoing a similar heartbreaking question. How are our children still dying and why are we failing them? Because this school is private and operated by a church, the Nashville Police Department says they do not staff school resource officers here. Police also tell us that the shooter had another intended target but decided against it because of security reasons. We do expect to hear more about the ongoing investigation and a potential motive later today. Hoda. All right, Katie, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.